Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jennifer Antoinette. So in today's video, I am doing my four week update on the hair care brand that I've been using, Scrub Tears. And if you would like to see my update, stay tuned. Alright guys, if you are a subscriber to my channel, I know that you notice that I have a different background. I will let you guys know why that is at the end of the video, but I know you guys came for the updates. If you aren't aware, I usually on my channel do an initial video of a hair care brand and then I do a four week update. This is a brand that I found on Etsy and it is a series that I'm doing and first I'm going to show you the last four weeks that I've been using it and then I will let you guys know my final thoughts at the end. So let's get into it. This is week one. And just FYI guys, I'm not going to show you every single time that I use the products every single day of every single week. This is just a brief synopsis just to prove to you guys that I use these products every week. And that was just me showing you guys that I mixed the hair mask and the conditioner together. And this is week two. That's the banana mask and the conditioner mixture. <laughs> Week three. Again, mixing the banana hair mask and the conditioner together. And week four. FYI guys and gals, I encourage you guys to watch the initial video first. It gives in-depth descriptions of the products and the prices and everything. And I will link the video down below in the description box. Let's start with my most favorite item of all five it was the banana milkshake hair mask so as you can see i completely used all of it i loved how this felt in my hair when i put it in it was completely creamy completely moisturizing and it completely left my hair soft when i rinsed it out i know in my initial video i used it by itself and i'm so glad that i did that because i was able to just experience it on its own i know in my video I also said that I was going to try it with the other conditioner to just kind of eliminate doing these separately but I kind of wish I didn't because after going through the motions of doing those two together I actually really just like the way that this was on my hair by itself. The only thing that it was a negative for me was that when I mixed this up it was chunky in terms of the product. I don't know if it was just this bad so I can't speak to that but I I had to use an electric mixer to just be sure that there were no lumps of the product and no clumps in the product when I put it in my hair because I did experience in like maybe week two or week three when if you're just trying to mix it with a fork or something or a spoon it still just left these chunks in there when you put it in your hair so obviously it's not something that I prefer so I opted to use an electric whisk so that it can just make sure that everything was blended out and if you are a lazy natural so that's something that you probably don't want to hear like oh my god I got to do this and do that and do that but it was just something that I prefer to do again you don't have to but I just don't like those little chunks other than that this was probably my favorite product out of everything again if you do not like the smell of bananas you probably wouldn't like this but overall this was my favorite product I mean as you can see so i definitely will purchase this again speaking of the conditioner let's get right into that the tinkling jamaican black castor oil conditioner again i i don't know if this is 
a good thing or a bad thing but i guess because i'm so used to thicker conditioners y'all know y'all know what it is when you want to get you know the product from the bottom to the top you, you you do this motion but you don't have to do that with this i swear to god you don't i made the mistake of having the top open when I did that and then as soon as I did that the product just shot out so that was my fault but I'm telling y'all because of the consistency of it it's a little bit more watery than I'm used to with conditioners just be aware of that but overall I definitely feel like this was a really good conditioner would I say that it wowed me not really and that's not a bad thing i just feel like the conditioner did what it was supposed to do and that was it nothing bad to say about it but nothing wowed me about the product so the next product the hair marmalade so after using this for four weeks i know in my initial video i did say that it is a solid but i did notice that it did you know some of it started to as you can see Overall, it still maintained its integrity of the product. Overall, it still stayed a solid, but just be aware that it does get that way if put in heated areas. I did like using it as a sealant to seal in the moisture. I really did like it for that, but I, I just couldn't get over the smell. Coupled with the other product that I'm about to review, well, let's just bring it over. These two are definitely cousins. And I said in my original video, this is the onion and garlic growth oil. I wasn't mad at the smell initially because I even said in my last video, it says it's onion and garlic, so you expect it to smell like that because the ingredients are on the package. So I wasn't mad about that, but as the weeks went on, this plus this, I was like, too much, too much, too much. Full disclosure, this is probably the first time since I've been doing my channel, since I've been reviewing products that I had to go against what I said. I usually try to use these products and these products only, but y'all, I tried just using this as a night oil, but if you sleep next to someone, they can smell it and it's not something that they prefer. It's not that bad, but it's overwhelming for me because it's on my head and and I just, I couldn't get over the smell. I really could not. I just, I can't. I won't lie to you. I, I just, I don't prefer the onion and garlic in my hair. The only way that I was able to get through it is mixing it with the conditioners and then rinsing it out. Again, my sensitivity to smell may be different to others, so other people may be able to take this smell, but I just, I prefer not to. And another thing, so you see this long tube? I, I was hoping that the product was gonna go all the way up here, but when you try, I'm squeezing it. This is, this is what goes into the tube. And I don't know why that just frustrated me. Like, yeah, I just wish that that tube had a little bit more suction that's just a personal thing but overall because i did say in my initial video that i was going to do a length check because it is a growth oil and i want to see how it was i honestly couldn't consistently keep that into my hair because of the smell so i gotta nix the whole length check idea for this video i'm sorry y'all i will try to do it in another video with other products but i just i couldn't do it with this one this didn't smell as strong as this but it still had a lingering smell like very faint these two i probably wouldn't purchase again just for the simple fact of the smell or the way that the product performed I liked the marmalade the feel of it I do like that it melts into your hair once it goes into your hair and it really did seal in the moisture I got nothing to say about this I'm sorry I just I couldn't get into it I couldn't and last but not least the shampoo bar this is probably my second favorite item of everything. So with the shampoo bar, I tried to sort of dry wash it, not really dry wash it, but when I was filming one day, I decided to just wet my hair and then use the shampoo bar outside of the shower. And I quickly noticed that it definitely, definitely, definitely needed water or some sort of water source around it to make sure that it, it keeps 
activating and getting those suds in there. Obviously this is not like a shampoo in a container where it has water mixed within it. This is simply just the ingredients and you definitely need water to continuously activate it. That's not a problem, that's just an observation. But nevertheless, it really got my hair clean. I really, I, I actually really like using the shampoo bar. I think it takes a little bit of time to get over the fact that it looks just like something that you would wash with your body. So it worked great. I had no problems with this. I still have a lot to use after it. So it definitely is something that I would purchase again. The smell is what really grabs you. It smells so clean, it smells so wonderful, and I really love just the overall experience of using this because this was a really nice, nice use of a shampoo bar. So kudos for that. I'm really satisfied with the results, but yeah, y'all, I had to use other products that were not in this line just to deal with the smell of the oil and the marmalade because I just, I, I didn't, I didn't like it. So overall, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the update. And for those that are wondering, yes, my background is a little bit different. My mom is visiting me and she's using my guest room and my guest room is where I do my filming, but because I didn't want to tell her to get out you know I just came into my room and put up a sheet I tried to iron it but chow it's a temporary setup we are gonna get back but just letting you guys know what's going on also thank you guys so much for sticking with my channel and if you are a new subscriber welcome I have been gone for a few weeks life just kind of hits you and I had to take a few weeks off I did miss you guys and I'm really really happy that I am back posting content that I enjoy to make and I do this in every video I always have a shirt for the day and the and today's shirt is it says chill out so i definitely needed some time to myself these past few weeks i just really need to chill out and definitely guys when your body is trying to tell you something do it chill out take some time and rejuvenate refresh read a book do what you feel like you need to do to chill out so i definitely 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 challenge you guys to do that so Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.